Hi everybody, Jake here for FM Scout. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're looking at a new game called We Are Football. Now, obviously we're a football manager channel and the reason we're looking at this is because it's being called The Next or even Competition for Football Manager. I've never seen it before. We're going to review it. I'm joined today by someone who's had a little look at it, haven't you, Jack? Uh, or Court of FM, as you might have already known him. Yeah, I've had a quick look at it. Um, I've tried not to give away too much to you so that we can watch this like for the first time, but uh, it's been interesting. There's lots of positives, lots of negatives as well. Um, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see as we go how things turn out. Yeah, so we're going to be as honest as possible. We're not going to sugarcoat things, I guess, but we are going to look for both positives and negatives. Also, it's going to be quite different from a football manager based on what you've told us, but how, how would you compare it so far from what you know? Um. In a quick overview, they seem to be caught between making it a, a serious in-depth football game like Wanager, but then also trying to make it with a lot of comedy aspects to it. Um, and we're going to see definitely both parts to that going through this game. And some of it is definitely a positive, and considering it's the first game in their, their new series, it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. problem with it going long-term, though, is that it needs to be successful first for it to take off. So I mean, there's also the case of, should they do a few things right that people do enjoy, Maybe Football Manager will take ideas from that. Maybe Football Manager will see it as competition and step up their game and move in that kind of direction of a more less serious aspect, I guess you could kind of call it. But I don't know too much about the game yet. I don't want to judge it too much, but I think I'm ready to take a look at it if you're ready. Yeah, let's go in because we can answer more questions, but let's just look at it as we, as we go. But uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. what's interesting is in this game as well, it has both men's and women's football. Um, so new player, we're going to play one player game. Um, we're going to go with men's football just to show people comparison to Football Manager. So this looks like the player creation screen. So Football Manager has a similar thing, but this looks a lot more like you're filling out a form uh, for a contact email or something. But I guess we'll just fill it in with some random information, Jack, if you want to. Okay, so we've just cut it while we filled it in. Um, I don't know how much of this actually matters. Obviously, in Football Manager, you have things like preferred formation and uh, attributes. I don't know whether that's coming up a bit later down the line, like manager attributes. But this is all we put in so far. It's just asked us some basic information. I don't know how much of this is going to have an effect in the game, but we'll go for it. Okay, so at this point of the game, you get two options. Either you can just pick a club for yourself, like you do in the football manager normally, or you can answer some questions about um, about certain things, and they give you a club based on that. So we haven't done this before, so we're, I'm just going to have a quick look and see what comes up, and we'll go as player career. Seems like the most interesting route to go down, doesn't it? It, it does, Seems something different. different. Yeah. Right, so... Um, in order to check your qualifications for the job you are looking for, you'll be interviewed intensively. You'll then respond to, receive a corresponding offer. I'm going to get in, interviewed by the game for what we what yeah. we deserve. So, okay. <laughs> Ready? Click to continue. There is a time limit on these questions with looks at it. Did you play football yourself? I was a professional player. Yes, but not professional. A good jockey doesn't have to be a horse first. That seems like a quality answer. We're going to go with that, yeah. Yeah, you've got to go for that one, I think. They've obviously gone for the comedy element of stuff. Definitely with that. What has been your biggest success that has something to do with football? My favourite club is one that wins every championship, converted a penalty kick in the break. I won a leisure tournament, World Cup winner in 1966. I think World Cup well, winner. Well, I claim well, to be one of those, yeah. Which football variant other than real life football interests you the most? Table football, football, golf, bent, beach football, walking football? What have we got, Jake? What are we going with? Um, football, golf. I've played that once. That, that went bad, I guess. Is, is that affecting our stars at the bottom then? I've not been. I'm in the time limit. They have. They've been, they've been going up and down. How much work experience do you have outside sports? I'm already retired. I go to school or university. I've worked for many years. Not so much. Your choice. School, uni. Are you more of a coach or a manager? I take both. That's how I'd answer mm -hmm. that. Both. What was your playing style philosophy, or what, what are we? I'm sorry, but it just when you when you said you've done management before, it just said your personality went up. Um, but philosophy, we'll lurk and then we'll strike. Bottom left one. I think that's the best one. Right. How much do you get as compensation for each player for one for each player for one day at the Men's World Cup? Bottom left, about two grand. I, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I don't either. But we're going to keep going here. You want to build up your career? That always double jump to the cold water. That, that makes more sense as a question because that seems to be start at the bottom or start at the top. I say jump into cold water, start at the bottom. Okay. Um, just before we carry on, that was. A bit weird as a way to find a club. I, I don't see why the timer was on there. That's the biggest thing that's confused me is why there's a timer on it. Because some of those answers are quite funny. But in terms of trying to do the video, like we, there literally was not enough time there for me to read out the question, read out all four answers, then get somebody else to, to, to give me an answer. There wasn't enough time. You've got to click pretty fast. That was interesting. That was, I mean, it was different. 
Um, yes. But, like, who's it going to give us now? Let's have a look. MK Dons. MK Dons. Is that, like, the only team? Oh, you can receive two more offers if we reject it. If we reject this offer, Jay, we'll receive two more offers. So I think we reject it and we just move on to a, to a different team. I think so, too, just to see what it provides us with. Okay, let's reject the offer. Sunderland, I mean, I guess we're not going to be going outside of England and it's going to be in the lower leagues. So Interestingly, though, that is the real club name, though. Yes. Now, I think if, if it's named after a city specifically and it's just the city, I think they're allowed to just put the, the city's name. As long as they city's, don't put yeah, FC afterwards. Sense. I think, anyway, I don't know for sure. All right, so Sunderland, are we, are we rejecting or accepting this? Let's just reject to see what our last one would have been. This is a bad mistake. So we've been given Cambridge. We've got a little bit of information about them. However, you might notice a few things. For example, it says, uh, what is it in the bottom left? It says something about the economy, right? Yeah, support of the economy. Now, that doesn't really make too much sense in our eyes, but bear in mind this game was made by a German team of developers and it's still in pre-release, like beta, early access phase kind of thing. It's coming out on roughly the 10th, although we don't know if that release date is finalised. So there is a chance that some of these things could change in the game. So do keep that in mind. But it seems like we got Cambridge. Yeah, okay, let's just accept it with, with, with the basics, see how that works. Okay, so accept the contract. Um, okay, welcome to Cambridge. I wish you good luck in your new job, you're going to need it. Now, that's not exactly a positive uh, message as you start your, as you start no. your save. Um, stadium not view, hang on, should we should look at this quick, stadium view. So this is the, the Cambridge Stadium. Um, it looks very similar to what the stadiums look like in 3D in uh, Football Manager, to be honest. You can see a training ground in the background, you can see all the detail here. In all of, I mean, look at this. What's that going on there? Is that a helicopter? Is that a bird? Is that a bird or a plane or what? I think it was a helicopter. Okay. I think it was. Um, yeah, it's detailed could, then. Yeah, it's quite detailed for all of this, and it's uh, so they've. they've well, there's another one here. I don't know if there's a. I don't know if the Cambridge owners if are finding out. If you look in the bottom left, you can see like the club's badge, or at least what the game's version of the club's badge is, is like on a little thing in the distance. I don't know if you can see that. We can oh, you can well. zoom. Yeah, no, I you can. I just realised you can you can move. Uh, you can only move so far. Um, okay, so it looks like you can have a look well. around your stadium, and I assume if you expanded it, you'd also see the expansions that you make. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we can go down to pitch level as well by the looks of it. So we can have a quick look around and uh, see what it's like from the right back's opposition on the pitch. So that's what you can see. <laughs> Plays up from the back. Um, yeah, it, I wonder it, how generic this is. If that makes sense, like I wonder if this is generic for most clubs, or you know, if you were Manchester United or the equivalent of, would you have? A massive Old Trafford style stadium. Okay, well, we'll put we'll that in for the stadium viewer, I think. Wait, was has it gone night time? Yeah, it's it's interesting. They've gone to a lot of effort here. I mean, I mean, look at the all the. I don't know where this forest has come from, but like, I don't know. Like, I mean, this must be generic. I, I don't know if Cambridge Stadium is like this, where it's like in the middle of a forest and cut off from everybody with helicopters I, I would, flying in. But I'd guess generic, but we'll we'll soon find out, I suppose. We can also quick have a quick look at the club grounds view. So this is the club grounds. Um, I like this, to be honest. I do like this feature. I like if in Football Manager, you know, when you add a youth facility or something, it's just in the background and that's it. I'd like to be able to maybe view what you're building, um, how you're building it. Is this just the gym or can you fit? No, I think that's just like an icon for the something, right? It's not... Um... I think that's just saying that we've got a gym. Yeah, I think that's what, that's what it's saying, isn't it? It's not actually... Can you see what that says? I mean, if Cambridge actually have these facilities, um, I don't know what they're doing all the way down there in the leagues. Well, we've got a nice quote here on our training ground, but it is in German. So you've got a little little football tennis area here. I'm not sure if that's the clubhouse over there. Um, Maybe. Little clubhouse. That might be a physio's area. So I don't know where this changes. Like if you upgrade it, like the buildings get bigger or better. Um, I assume that they must do. For them to have gone to this effort, like I agree with you. This looks yeah. really good. Like, like in terms of visuals, this looks brilliant. If it does work with the upgraded, let's say you upgraded the youth facilities, would you see them? actually you know develop if that is the case i really like this feature i think this is something i'd like to see in football manager to be honest it looks really good doesn't it like you've got to be yeah, honest, it this does. looks really good no matter it definitely does no matter how much of the rest of the game you like or dislike things this i think is hard to give any negatives to this is a really positive thing i think it just looks really good does it mean much in the context of the overall game maybe not but i don't think that, that matters does it just being able to see the visuals of something like this just looks really good it makes you feel like i guess you're part of a an actual club they've at least got some creative ideas that they're trying to, to, yeah. to implement, right? Okay, so we've just moved on, and the first thing it's brought us to, it says training start. So I guess we're starting with training. It looks like it's preparations for the next season. Um, so let's get into that and see how training works, I guess. So we've just earned some action points. I don't know what that's going to be for just yet, but we're getting a mini tutorial here. So I guess we could just continue and see how training works. 
Um, so yeah, four action points received. That seems to have gone into the top left. It looks like we have some kind of level and progress bar, how that works for us. I don't know how that's going to benefit us in any way, but maybe you do that sequence of manager attributes in Football Manager, like the higher attributes, the better your training sessions are. That could be a similar thing in this game. Okay, so um, I, th I think here is the se yeah, season objective. They want us to finish 15th. Very okay. specifically 15th. Not, not 14th, not 12th, but specifically they want us to finish 15th. So I'm going to say, no, I want to finish um, oh, let's go 14th. Okay, and that affected your rating with the board in the top left. So that seems to have an impact. And you have a certain amount of negotiation points at the bottom, if you have a look. So you can only make a certain amount of changes. So whether it's to your transfer budget at the top or your wage budget, seems like we don't have too many of these points to use. No, it doesn't seem like it. Can we redeem one? We can receive two additional points. Do we want to spend this action point? So I think it's one of those ones that we got earlier. Okay, we can get then. two more. So let's just do that. And so, yeah, so that's what it does. You get you another one, although we can't use it right now. So that was that was a waste. Okay, so the first issue that, as if you're a fan of Cambridge, you're going to see right now is that none of these are your players. This is what your squad is if you're a Cambridge fan. One thing I'm noticing is that, yeah, we've got all the generic information. It looks like positions, secondary positions, a star rating, contract information. But something that seems quite unique is this skill section. I don't know if you can hover over that, but. I don't know what these are. Are these like, so is this basically his attributes, what they're really good at? So the things that they're really good in, throw-ins and penalty kicks. That's got two pluses on, that's got one plus on. The, are the red ones negatives to their game? I'm not too sure how this works. He hasn't really explained that yet, has it? No, I think you're right. It could be the reds are negatives. I'm assuming They've that's... got minus signs on, haven't they? Yeah. And like, we click on a player. Let's click on Eric here. Oh, okay, so right click. Okay, that. this is the player information screen then. Yeah, so we've got, um, he's, he's a leisure sportsman, is he, is, is Eric. He's considered a player who had to work hard for everything, currently in good form, is what it says here, is, is our is little bio, I guess, down here. Okay, a player type artist, so that's highlighting, is that his um, mentality, I guess? It's, it's a good thing to look at, the question is how much is that going to affect things? Is that just something that it says, or does a, is an artist more vocal on the pitch, less vocal on the pitch, you know, that kind of thing? I wonder if that will have an effect. I mean... He's English and Jamaican. He's got, by the looks of it, two star ratings. I guess one would be potential. I don't know if you can hover over it and see anything, but with the information we've been given, level, uh, level. it's just his level and best career value. So is that like where he can get to? I don't know. One thing I will mention is I'll be interested to see how the personality does actually affect things in game, whether it's just a description or whether it does actually affect uh, how the player performs in a match. But just to make you guys aware, we can't knock into absolutely everything into this review. So instead, we're just going to focus on a few things that we like about the game and some that we don't. So, so now I guess the best thing for us to do is have a look around the game, find some things that we do enjoy and some things that we don't. So yeah, we're going to have a go with the game, see how we get on and let you guys know what we think. So we've regressed a bit in the game. We've got to the start of the week. So I imagine this is how your game weeks would start in Football Manager. Obviously, you're hitting the continue button and doing things based on emails. But here we've got uh, training by the looks of it and then also our personal focus for the week don't really know what's going on there but we can have a look through some of the options that we've got so no special emphasis uh, we can focus on the next match and they all seem to have little bonuses depending on what you choose yeah okay i, I understand that i get the idea of it here specifically um do you want to advance a specific player conditionally boost a player 10 percent of until he reaches his training objective so we can do that i'm not entirely sure what that does his current training objective is anticipation so we can try and boost him to focus on that more than anything else. So I guess we're just going to do that and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's one thing, obviously, to spend them on uh, for a specific player on a specific on a specific thing. I mean, that's the part of the game that I think is, from a new point of view, for me, a person, it feels like a negative because it's like a bit, too much like a game. Like you're, you've got attribute points you're spending on a player to improve. I think that's, you know, it's less realistic and it's, like, you know, it'd be brilliant as a coach to say, well, you know, I've got 10 attribute points. I'm going to spend one of them on this player so he can finally get better at the one thing he needs to get better at. It just That feels more like a game than, than a simulation. And that's where a negative for me personally, but not everybody will see it that way. And that's absolutely fine. It depends on what you prefer. But to me, that's a negative. Yeah, I, I suppose it's a bit simple. Not I don't want to say simple down, but, you know, it's a, a bit less of, like you say, the realistic simulation side of things. And some people, when they sit down, maybe a newcomer will prefer this because it seems to just make... Uh, more relation to a normal game that you play in so it might be easier for newcomers to pick up i guess so we're on the home screen here this is the equivalent to your home page on football manager and there's quite a few similar things on the bottom there i mean you can hover over them jack but there's a lot of like uh, first team second team youth team all that stuff you can look at your staff but one interesting thing i think we can talk about quickly is the infrastructure section so that links back to the stadium view that we saw earlier and it seems like what you do here will correlate 
to um, how your stadium looks in stadium view. However, one thing we did notice, didn't we, is about the selling name rights. So I'll let you talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so throughout this game, what you'll notice is that it almost plays like a director of football slash, you know, chief executive type role within the game. Um, so, But you're also still the coach, the head, the head coach and the manager. For example, you can sell the naming rights. I mean, I'd expect that to be done by the board or the, the owner, something like that. And like, I know in Football Manager you can request to extend the stadium, expand the stadium, but you don't get to, uh, to sell the name rights to the stadium. That is a decision above your head. So that's something that I think shows it. And also here, like you can, I just noticed this just now for the first time, you can dictate how many how many workers you have. So you can decide how many workers you have on a, a match day. You can also decide how many cleaners you want at the stadium. But like, it goes into details about things that, you know, I really think somebody else at the club would do. And it, so that's where it starts to like, lose it sort of focus on are you the head coach or manager are you director of football if you could choose one or, or other of the roles that would be interesting maybe as a as a concept for the game but um but yeah that's something that i just noticed there one thing i'm picking up on too is the fact that as a manager we had to meet the board to learn if we were good enough for the club and you know they offered us a contract and we could ask things in our contract we can ask for more of a transfer budget however at the same time we are actually in charge of half of that stuff so a bit confusing there not necessarily, I wouldn't say it's 100% a bad thing because there's some people who are going to enjoy this aspect, but I think the way that it's been merged maybe isn't the right way to go about it. I don't know if there is somewhere hidden in a section where you can just be a manager or a board member, let's say, but by the looks of it, merging the two might not be the most realistic thing in the world, but maybe that's not the aim of everything. No, I do remember them mentioning this when it came out that it was going to be more director of football type of a, of a game, but yeah, it's just something here that it feels a little bit all over the place with, with that stuff. But I mean, this is, again, a beta, maybe long term. They're looking to, to extend it. We just don't know. OK, so this is our first time looking at the transfers and scouting thing. I don't know if this is good or bad. We're going to quickly take a look. So let's scout a player and see if there's someone to bring in. OK, so we've just um, clicked confirm and then advanced today. And it looks like we can now talk to the player in terms of contracts. But it says that uh, Walsall, the club, don't really want to sell. So at least they're considering that. If the offer is right, the club would agree to sell the player. So I don't know how it works. So we've now moved on to this screen. Well, we've got a transfer negotiation on Monday, apparently, in two hours' time. So this looks like the calendar, the schedule. Um, there's not too much going on in it. Okay, so we've just tried to advance to basically carry on with our transfer negotiation, but something seems to have come up in our calendar where we're setting the ticket prices for the upcoming season. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> this is why we don't put the coach in charge, right? Because I want as many fans in the stadium as happy as possible to really, you know, show some passion for the team. We're not going to charge anything for our club. Oh, so low as we can go. So they, are, they do set some limits, but we want the fans as happy as possible. You can see there's a smiley face on the seats. I imagine if you put that now up to, you know, like 90 quid, would that then change? And he goes, yeah, yeah, you can see it changing. I, I get this then. So you're trying to balance out fans with how much money you make. Yeah, I, I guess it, it makes sense. Uh, and again, for some people, they'll love the fact you can do this. Some people will hate that or just won't care. I think from what we've seen so far, as much as it could be seen as a, competition for football manager it seems like a different game to me it's no offense to the game but it seems like the games that you play on the app store and on your phone or your ipad but a more advanced version of that so if that's the kind of thing you're looking for this seems to be more along that route of it's having a bit more fun than maybe football manager would it's not taking itself as seriously from what i can tell so far there's so many aspects to it that are like funny and that like you know you can have a bit of fun with it but then it's also at the same time trying to be really serious as well so it's mm. it's struggling with i think that of what it's trying to be and maybe they go into one direction completely but um but yeah that's what we can do here. it's as much as a life simulator as it is a management simulator so far isn't it i'd say it, it's that all of the aspects of those people on the forums for years that have claimed for like oh, i want to be able to do stuff with my own money that sort of thing it's definitely definitely trying to tap into that market for those people that always wanted to do more stuff with their own their own money like you could do i think in fifa manager years ago okay so here's our first transfer negotiation uh, so that's what they want five hundred and fifty thousand. we'll try a bit less and see what happens it seems it's leaning into the negotiation points again at the bottom if you look it tells you how many rounds you've got to negotiate left and how many points we can use i and mean you seem to have that. Off, yeah you've knocked yeah. off a price straight away you used a bit of a point by the looks of it but it seems like he's in already Okay, so one thing that's obviously a huge part of Football Manager is the tactics and whether you're playing a Gagan press or a Tiki Taka style, whatever you want to use. This seems a bit more, I mean, it's got a fair bit of detail to it. We have a quick look. Top left, you've got what kind of football you want to play. And I imagine if you cycle through the results, it tells you how much effort it will take and how much skill it takes. So the better players you've got, I imagine, the better you'll perform these kind of tactics. Next to it, you've got your pressing and counter pressing, which seems fair enough. Uh, that's just to the side of it yet. Um, below it, you've got your special corners, short corners. Uh, I don't know what the numbers mean in terms of 57, 55. You got any idea? 
Um, no, I, I mean, I did this once. There's also another tactic screen where you can put your, your players in positions, but right now we it's not given us that. So, I mean, I thought that would come up first. And, yeah, um, me too. We're sort of doing all of this, but without even a, a shape to start off with. So I wonder how much this stuff really does matter. Like if you change that wing play from 25% to 32%, what does that mean for the team? Does it, does it actually matter in game or not? What's interesting is at the bottom here is you've got fouls and how sportsmanlike you want your team to be. So there's some really funny ones here. We're a fair sports people. I don't want to see yellow cards. I don't want to see unnecessary yellow cards. Avoid fouls in front of the penalty area. Better a yellow card than a counter-attack. Are there any tough guys? Can't deal with tight reins. Earn some respect. Knock them down, but I don't want to see you sent off. So yellow card is better than a counter-attack. I think we'll go with that. That's it. Okay, one final thing on the tactics screen. It seems like in the bottom right, we've got something a little bit strange going on. It's a red box with a picture of some like a shady guy, I guess that's meant to be. And we can provoke match interruption and we can choose something there. So if we just have a look at that, it's a questionable means for a home match. So let's have a look at what we can choose. So we can choose for the flood. <laughs> sorry, I've never seen this before, but we can apparently choose for the floodlights to black out. We, sorry, I've just read the bottom one. We can pay a streaker. We can pay a streaker for this game. I don't know how that affects things. You know, it's a weird thing to add. There's a, there's definitely the, the dark art section here. And yeah, you can you can have the floodlights get turned off. You can have the grass sprinklers start. Or, help, or pay a streaker um, for, for your home games. And that can all, I guess, disrupt the opposition. Um, those aren't the only things you can do. There's some more down to the bottom right. But if you're trying to be on some level of serious football game, I, I just, I mean, you, people could argue some of that can that can start. But I mean, this is like during the game, like it's supposed to be. So this is like a team deliberately putting the ringers on during the game. I know before and after, you know, before the game, mid, you know, halfway through, but before the game, uh, during the game, rather, to, to have these three things, a paid streaker, I mean, that's... Yeah. It's a, I mean, a serious football, I mean, it's funny, but serious football game, you can, like, I can't imagine a football manager ever entertaining um, any of this, but especially the last one. The last one for me was by far a step too far in, in the kind of game that it's, uh, it's sort of marketing itself to be. But it's, it's funny, but... So I think to compare them is quite a hard thing to do and to say that this is the next football manager is not true. I mean, there's there's elements to it. There's elements that share the same kind of thing. Yes, you're a manager of a club. But these games are very, very different from what we've seen so far. Yeah, they definitely are. And other things that um, that you can do, I mean, this makes slightly more sense. I mean, you can don't repair the pitch at halftime of home games or the pitch before the match and make the pitch narrow. I mean, most teams, you know, most top teams will always walk the pitch before the game. I mean, some teams won't if they're playing against certain teams like Manchester City, somebody like that, and Pep Guardiola, make the pitch narrower. I mean, like, these things make sense. These ones are like the next level up. And uh, yeah, like I said, they're funny. Um, but like you said, it's a completely different game. Okay, so I found something quite funny that happens. Um, in these, as you're continuing the game, you get these little dialogue boxes of things that happen. And the fans are quite a big a big part of it. So it says here, Bridge Art, your ultras um, have sprayed a new motorway bridge and with a 20 meter scroll of the club's name. One letter is backwards. So the Cambridge United Ultras have got onto the old bridge at the motorway and they've, they've sprayed it with the club's name. One letter is backwards. I don't know which one they've gone with there, but uh, yeah. You know. It's one of the many funny things that can come up. That, that there's another one that I saw that um, our star player had had his personal hairdresser come into the club and it upset some of the other players. They weren't very happy with that. So there's just... Again, just the humour aspect, like you said before, the comedy aspect keeps getting thrown in Leaning there. into it, aren't they? And we have got our first game coming up soon. That's the one thing we wanted to look at before we did end today's video and this review. We wanted to see how the actual in-game works. So I guess we're about to take a look now. All right, so this is the tactic screen I was talking about earlier. So this is where, I don't know if you can access it before. You must be able to, but I just, we couldn't see quickly at a, a quick like look there. So you can literally move them anywhere, like on the pitch, um, and it changes their position automatically. And it gives you a little rating of how well they play that position. Um, I don't know how you select if it's like a role and duty kind of thing. I don't think it, you can. I think it tries to incorporate that with the with the team instructions. One thing I am noticing though is um, team units. So it's the bottom of the screen. You can see goalkeepers, defence, midfield, attack, and a total. So it's just to the right. I don't know what that entails. Is that in terms of a rating maybe? So is that saying that Milton Keynes have got a better squad than us in terms of the goalkeeper, the defence, midfield? But our attack is better. That's kind of what I'm getting from that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's where it's really unusual because that's like a real game type thing, isn't it? When they've got like that, but then they've used team values and they've used units, two things that you use all the time on coaching courses, especially when you get up to like um, UEFA level, UEFA B in particular. Like they'll use these terminolo terminology, so they've gone with like a like they've looked at and deliberately used the right coaching mm. terminology used by UEFA, but then they make it like into to like a game situation. Just again, another example of them sort of combining the two things. Um, and yeah, just something that, that's obvious to me well, that they've done there. 
I guess our team's ready. Let's find out how a game goes for us, I suppose. Okay, so this is the tactic screen we've looked at before, so I guess with everything set, we can just go straight into the match. And we are looking to destroy their game and then play direct passes, apparently. So let's see how that goes on. Yeah, we're also... We're, we're, none of this. We're going to go loads of pressing, loads of counter-pressing. Okay, press, nice. We'll go, nice. We'll, we'll go with that. See how, see how that goes. You would assume we would lose because we haven't done anything... We haven't focused on the training. We haven't brought in very good players or anything like that. Oh, you got, hang on. This is interesting. I didn't really look at this before. Standard speeches. Um... Today, your parents will be proud of you. Like, I mean, the Dean <laughs> points, like, I mean, can we say these? I don't know if this is going to cost us anything. Um, or is it boost? Some of them seem quite serious, and then some of them are just like, why would you click that? If you catch a great day, they black out, it'll end 1 0. Let's just choose a random one and go for it. Um, friends and family, if you screw up, the running will be done early next week and in the morning. But let's, let's put a bit of fear into them. And if we want to give you the day off, let's get this through everything. Let's, let's offer the yeah. players everything. Um, I mean, you can bribe the players if you win, you get a bonus. I mean, this is going down some serious... I'm, I'm surprised there isn't bribing the referee kind of thing at this stage. Okay, so I guess we get straight into the match and hopefully we get a win after all the effort we put into team talks. So let's see what happens. Okay, so our game is on the way here. And like we said, there isn't technically a 3D or 2D match engine even in this game. You can kind of see what's going on. So we just scored a big... No, we saved it. We saved it. It's confusing. It's hard to tell. Yeah. I will say again how obviously the players have star ratings and there is a tactics thing to it and you're free to play the match, but I wonder how much that contributes. Like, we looked in the tactics, we almost jokingly went full pressing style on both ends. And so far, are we, have we just scored? We've just conceded. No, we're, down. we're losing 1-0, but, you know, I don't know how much that's actually affecting the game in terms of how it's being played. It does seem like they're having a lot of the chances, to be honest. So obviously we're not going to keep you here for the full match because it might go on for a while, but you get a kind of idea of what the match engine will be. We'll show you at the end of the game what the end scoreline was and we can see if the things that we actually did in terms of tactics made a difference. Like we say, we put some stupid tactics on and it seems to be paying a price. We're losing to a 10-man team 1-0 and it's been, they've been dominating the whole time. So it seems like that makes sense, but we'll catch you back up at the end of the match to see what happened. Okay, so it's half time. We're 1-0 down still. Um, you can see here team mood, wildly determined. So um, yeah. The, the lads, are, lads are ready for it. The playing Going style. Into yeah, we're going to go all out attack. Uh, let's go all out attack, yeah. Let's go all out attack and let's go, what do you reckon, 4 2 4, something like that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just shove a player up from. Anthony quickly, he's very quick, he's going to go up there, he's played a second striker. Let's <laughs> go with uh, something like that. So he's got 1.7 because he's obviously not a striker up front. Oh, so that seems to make a bit of sense. But right, he's going to score. What the hell is this? This is creating exact patterns, isn't it? Right, let's, let's do a, a cross and let's just do some basic stuff. That's number two. Get, get me down here. Get me in the channels. Get me three. Three's going to go and... Let's go through there. Wide goal. Is this your Pep Guardiola recreation this again? This is yeah? absolutely not Pep Guardiola. <laughs> it's just like watching Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they're chanting? Yeah, it, it does show fan chants throughout the game, which is quite funny. That is quite cool. I'll, uh, I appreciate that, at least. No one likes us. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> one song. You've only got one song. No, me neither. I don't understand what we... What's this? Is this a press conference, this radio a, interview? It's a radio interview. You're under time limit, so team performance. Either, either way, we lose something. Okay, guys, there you go. That was our look and, I guess, a review of We Are Football. Like I say, a lot of people are saying this could be a competitor for Football Manager or at least the next Football Manager. I don't think so. I think this is a very different kind of game. As we mentioned, it seems to be a bit more of a manager slash owner slash director and part of the board all mixed into one. Whether that's a good thing or bad thing depends on the person. I just wouldn't go into this expecting the new Football Manager game or anything like that. Obviously, there is a big focus on the comedy element of the game, which, again, for some might be a benefit, some might be a negative. I think it's quite cool and makes it a little bit different. But again, I wouldn't say to people, yeah, play this, this is better than Football Manager. One aspect that I did think was really good was the stadium viewer and how the fact that if you do develop a facility, let's say you can see your map, your stadium map uh, increasing, so you'll see your new gym. And that supposedly will have a benefit on the players. Like we did say, this game was for early press release and it is still a bit of a beta and it was made by a team from another language. So therefore, there are a few errors when it comes to translating and there are a few things that maybe weren't that great. As well as the positives, there are a few issues that we have with the game. Of course, one thing we noticed was that the stadium was so detailed, yet when you come to the match engine, there's no real 3D or 2D match engine. It doesn't look like the stadium that you have actually affects what that looks like from what we can tell. And the match engine did just seem a little bit lacklustre the way that the game was played. Again, we didn't do the best tactics, so maybe that was a reason why, but overall, just the flow of it didn't seem that great. The main thing we thought, however, was the fact that the game doesn't seem to know 
what it's going for. I don't think this is an unfair criticism, but like we have mentioned, it's a very convoluted in the fact that is it an ownership game? Is it a really in-depth management game? Is it more of a comedy game? Is it an owner game, board of directors? It, it doesn't really know what it's trying to be. That's what I'd say about it. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It can be fixed. They can change that in the future. And they definitely do want feedback on this game to know what you guys think of it. There's definitely potential here to be a different kind of game than Football Manager. I would never see this as a rival unless there was a lot of changes. I would say it's a very different game. But I suppose in a way that is technically a positive too because it's going to attract a different audience. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I'll let you go, Court of FM, Jack. What do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, you've covered a lot of the things we both said um, throughout this. It's my, my big issue with it is, like you said, it doesn't know what it's trying to be. Um, on the one hand, it is so in-depth. On the other hand, it turns out to be a bit of a joke at, at times with certain things, which again is fine. But like Jake said, one of the other things, like they've tried to make a big effort to to use the correct like personality type references with the MBTI scale and trying to use all the big five personality. But they've gone out of their way to make sure they're very correct factually as much as possible with that. Then also with, with values and you know the, the units and all the other type of stuff and philosophies. They've tried to use the correct UEFA technologies as well for a lot of the a lot of the, the words that they've used. So it's, it's interesting. They've really gone and made an effort to be as correct as they can be in some ways and try to make it a fairly serious game on some level. But then on the flip side, before the home game, you, you can compare a streaker to interrupt the game or turn the floodlights off halfway, halfway through the game, um, which is funny. It, it's very funny, but it, like you said, I completely agree with you that it just doesn't know what it wants to be. And I think that they're getting told so many different things by their people that they've, they've spoken to on their own Discord. Um, I think that LMA Manager, going back to that years ago, it had a 3D match engine that looked really good. Now, what was quite obvious with it is it wasn't perfect. It didn't work great. Like you didn't, you would put some things in and it wouldn't come out the way you expect, but it was still fun. You knew that it didn't make much sense, but it looked all right and it played all right and it made it fun. So they could have gone down that road. They could have just had a basic 2D match engine. They could have done, I think, so many things differently. And to go with what they come up with, I think was just, I don't know. That's my biggest disappointment is what they've got for the match engine. Um, in terms of the player and club names, now, I just think they could have been a bit more creative with how they got over the, the licensing. They, they've basically gone on the road of, like, you know, using somebody like an FM scout to, to put up mods and stuff that have all the correct things and then just to, to move those files in. So that's how they sort of going it like as a business model. They want to, to leave it as it is, you download one file and it fixes it all for you and has everybody that's, that's real, which is great for people that go out of their way to do that. For those people that aren't quite as good with technology and don't know what they're doing, it could be an issue an issue for them. It's definitely a game that, that needs feedback to improve and the first two years are going to be crucial for them. It's also the release time, like June. Season's over. Euros are about to start, but very unusual. Like The only time I think Sports mm. Interactive or even IDOS going back, back in the days, the only time they ever released a game very late was Championship Manager 4 because I think that was where they, uh, they, had, some, they had a disagreement they were about to split as a company. And that's the only time they've ever delayed it that long, I believe. Um, there might be another one that was late, but th that one in particular was very late. But that was why. There was a big reason why it was so late. And I and uh, this year's one because of COVID, but we can't blame, can't really blame yeah. them for that. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. That's a very unusual time to release a game. Okay, guys. So that is We Are Football coming out very soon. June the 10th, I believe it is, Jack. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. June the 10th, if everything goes ahead as planned. Let us know down below what you thought of this. Obviously, it's a different kind of video than usual, but... It's a game that a lot of people are talking about. What do you think of the game? Do you think it's something you're going to buy? What do you like about it? What do you not like? So that being said, guys, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.